Oh, reading is fun and math is great, but now it's time for art with Miss Kate. Buenos dias, artistas. Hello, artists. Thank you for the wonderful theme song. Emmy Lou, the art dog, and I are going to teach you how to make a caterpillar out of the papers we created on Friday. Hoy día vamos a hacer un collage con los papeles que hemos pintado el viernes. Okay? If you do not have papers, if you weren't able to create the papers like I showed you on Friday, you can use pre-existing papers. So, this leaf is made from the green on this grocery bag. My stem is made from part of the H. This is from a coffee bag. This yellow is a different coffee bag. This green is from a taco box. The nose I just drew on with the Sharpie because nothing sticks to this metallic paper very well. So you can use pre-existing papers for your collage today if you want to. If you did not make the painted papers. Puedes usar cualquier papeles que, que tienes en casa para hacer tu collage. No tienes que usar los papeles que hemos pintado en la lesión pasada. ¿Ok? For this Art at Home series, we always use whatever supplies you have. So here's our book, La Oruga Muy Hambriente, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. I decided that for today's lesson, since I already made a caterpillar, I wanted to try a butterfly. Okay? But if you don't want a butterfly, you could do a cocoon, a big caterpillar, leaf, all kinds of foods. Any idea the book gives you is fine. You don't have to make what I make. You could have a sun. Puedes hacer tu collage como tu, como tu quieres hacerlo. No tienes que hacer una oruga. Este vez yo quiero hacer una mariposa. Una mariposa muy linda. So here are my papers. Now, I'm going to cut some butterfly petals. When you fold the paper, you'll make two things that are the same. So here, Eric Carl's butterfly has many, many colors. La mariposa que hizo Eric Carl tiene muchos papeles y muchos colores. Y aquí quiero ser la mía también. So I want to find something for the body, which has some brown. This paper has some brown. I'm going to cut my body. There. Now I want to cut some more colors. Si quieres escribir con lápiz primero, lo puedes hacer. If you're more comfortable writing with pencil first, go ahead and do it. You don't have to cut without pencil like I am. It's totally up to you how you do this. I'm going to make a pattern, I think. Remember, you could do fruit, you can do food, anything you want. My butterfly is getting better and better. I want to have some uh, legs. So I'm going to do this. Anytime you cut things on the fold, then you open it up and it will be symmetrical. That's kind of cool to remember. So here's what I see down here. Now I need to do a head and some eyes. 
I want a pink head. So here's my head. Okay. And I am going to make my eyes with marker. You can do them any way you want. Here for this caterpillar, I used colored pencil, marker, and then I used crayon on that leaf. So it doesn't have to be just with your cut papers. Here's some antennae. Now, I could add some dots on the end of the wing, like Garrett Carl did. Let me do some yellow. There. Okay, boys and girls, maybe you want to color the background with marker. Maybe you want to add a sun. Maybe you want to put clouds or a sky. Anything you want to do is fine. Puedes colorar aquí si quieres con una marcadora o crayola. Puedes hacer un sol si quieres. Puedes hacer otros animales si quieres. You can do this any way you want, boys and girls, because you're the artist and you're in charge. Happy collaging. Hasta luego. Chao, chao.